In the last video I mentioned we had an issue with a twist in the wing. Now I called the factory and their advice was to uh, weight the wing down and lift part of the wing up. So this is how we did it. Here is our outboard reference line. Uh, this needs to be level while the wing spar remains vertical. Now if you look at the outboard edge uh, we're around half a degree away from being level. To get the wing to twist, I've added a weight to the end of the wing and a counterbalance on the other end. In order to twist the wing, I've had to support the trailing edge of the wing on the I-beam and these small blocks here under the spar are to stop the wing from over twisting. After some playing around, I've added a lot more weights to get the wing to twist. Once I was satisfied that there was no twist in the wings, then we proceeded to glass the wings. This whole process of applying the wing skin took a little over two hours. I'd highly suggest you call a friend over to help. They don't have to have experience or be especially skilled to help. You're just racing the clock before the glue starts to cure, which will reduce its absorption into the glass. It turns out that Anna was better at this than I was. Uh, she comes with uh, plenty of cake decorating experience. The glue we use that covers the foam cores is simply easy epoxy mixed with micro. The kit comes with enough to make up 60 litres and I think that we used around 3 litres on each wing skin. I was a bit funny about getting the right ratio of ingredients at first, but the epoxy ratio pump gives you the correct mixture of epoxy and then the micro is added to get the consistency of PVA glue or maybe a bit thicker. Care is to be taken not to get the glue on the spar, eye beam, leading or trailing edges. For those areas, just straight epoxy is applied. I've been told the spar looks like wood but it's actually just a C-beam made out of S-glass or structural fiberglass filled with foam. When applying the glue to the foam, we tried to get a consistent thickness of about 2mm with some very cheap plastic scrapers. They worked surprisingly well. While the epoxy ratio pump is not required for the build, the factory highly recommends it. I think it's required since when mixing the epoxy, you need to do it in small batches. The first mistake I made early on was making a bigger batch, about a cup, and within 30 minutes the epoxy had melted my plastic cup and gone hard. Mixing the epoxy up after it's pumped is very quick and easy, but mixing in the micro takes a little more work. I used a battery drill and a mixer I made up out of some threaded rod and some sheet metal. For smaller batches, you can just use a tongue depressor, which are also supplied. So after around 50 minutes of applying the glue, we're ready for the glass. The manual says you should wait for the glue to become tacky before applying the glass. We pre-cut the glass ahead of time and marked on the glass where our corners should come to when it comes time to laying it on the glue. After trimming the glass to a rough shape, we took care to roll it up straight. Once the glass is on the glue, you can use your hands to flatten it out for any bubbles, inspect for wiggles in the strands and pull them out by finding the offending strands at the edge of the cloth and pulling them tight. And this type of glass is called triax. Its strands run in three directions. One runs longitudinally the length of the roll and the other two intersect at around a 90 degree angle to each other and 45 degrees to the longitudinal strand. All of the off cuts were kept and they are later reused as smaller pieces on the fuselage.
then it comes time to do some old fashioned glassing where you pour on the epoxy and spread it around. Our $2 Kmart shower squeegees are perfect for this job. It's important to make sure that you don't miss any areas and that the epoxy seeps into every strand or the whole skin can't be used. Here I'm using some cling wrap to help the glass fold over the 90 degree angle on the spa. Fiberglass doesn't like to lay down well around hard corners and will want to lift up. The cling wrap holds the glass flat around the corner. When dry, the cling wrap easily peels off. Before leaving the skin to dry, I've added some timber covered in packing tape to clamp the upper and lower skins together and also keep checking that everything is right. 